Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's check up on the energies that's coming towards you, in you, or around you. We're going to be using the Magic Marvel deck to collect that energy. Okay, this deck speaks of villains and heroes. And we're going to use the DC deck to clarify it. Okay, and um, this is kind of related to the Marvel deck. Okay, so let's hop into it. Check up on these energies that's in you, coming towards you, or around you. Okay, first card is Jubilee. Be bright, be fearless, even in the dark. You have Miss Marvel. I'm, I am a part of something bigger. Okay. You have Ronan the Accuser. Let it burn. Let it burn. Okay, Usher here. <laughs> Might be somebody's favorite song. Okay, oh, Venom. <laughs> Let me in, said the spider to the fly. Okay. Wow. Okay, so there's some toxicity around, okay? There's something being poisoned here something's trying to get in let me in said the spider to the fly okay spider eats flies right we all know that okay so yeah pisces was crossing the energy is thor be sure of foot and steady of heart so you have to be grounded you have to know what you're doing you have to know who you are and you have to know what you're fighting for okay so Let's hop into this energy, Pisces, and see what's going on here. Okay, Jubilee, be bright, be fearless, even in the dark. Okay, this is the energy of confidence to the max. Confidence on 100. Okay, some people are blinded by your light. Okay, okay, some people are uncomfortable with how fearless you are. Okay, how resilient you are. Okay, even in your darkest hours, even when you're struggling or suffering or not feeling up the part, not as happy, okay, your light still shines through, okay, you still do what you have to do, you still don't let nothing stop you, no matter how you feel, okay, and that's confidence, okay, so the energy of confidence, if you've been feeling down lately, okay, do things to boost yourself back up, be fearless, be bright, even in the dark, don't let nothing stop you from shining, okay, Miss Marvel, I am a part of something bigger, okay? And this could simply be the reason you could feel something in your bones, in your spirit that it's something else I'm supposed to be doing. It's somewhere else I'm supposed to be. You know, this can't be life right here. I have to, I feel, right? I feel like there's something that that a, a different direction, a, a different purpose, right? Something is pulling and calling at me, right? So with Miss Marvel, I am a part of something bigger, okay? Some of you are really finding your life's path or your passion or, right, getting in alignment with what you're here for, okay? Ronan the accuser, let it burn, okay? And this feels like the energy of release. Let it go. Let it burn. It's over. Once it turned to ash, it's over, okay? So departing from something in order to have forward movement. Okay, Venom, let me in, said the spider to the fly. Okay, and this is the energy of, you know, a negative energy wanting to break through this confidence or this soul's mission, this destined thing, this fate or that calling that you have. Okay, something may not want you to let it burn or let it release or let go of negativity or toxins, anything that could be stopping you from being your most confident and finding your life's purpose. Okay. So there's an energy of distraction, toxicity, venom, poison. Okay. Thor crossing all that energy. Be sure of, be uh, sure of foot and steady your heart. Know what you want. Know what you're doing. Remember what you're fighting for. What is all for? Okay, so let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's check up on this energy. Let's break it down and clarify it. Okay, so be bright, be fearless, even in the dark. Jubilee. Okay, what well, is this Jubilee energy for Pisces? 
And it's the seven of pentacles in reverse. Okay. And this could speak of not investing, you know, um, not sticking around, okay, not having any patience or tolerance for anything that's unstable. Okay, I'm not putting my time and effort. I'm not planting my seeds here. Um, I know my worth. Okay, I know what my value is and I'm not investing into anything that will dim my light or uh, lessen my confidence. Okay. You also have the Queen of Swords, okay? And look at her. She has on a mask, okay? Somebody has not been true to themselves. And it's time to bring clarity to situations. It's time to clear the air. It's time to speak the truth, okay? It's time to take off that mask and be honest and pure and true to yourself, okay? Queen of Swords, you know, she knows how to get things done, Okay, she just has to be confident in herself, be confident enough to speak what you truly feel, to speak into existence what you truly want. Okay, take off the mask, be honest, be true, if not to nobody, to yourself. If you feel like I don't want to invest into this situation, I don't want to pour money into this, I don't want to pour my heart into this, I don't want to give my time to this, then don't. Be honest with yourself. Be confident in the choices and the decisions that you make. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Focus on what brings you pleasure. Focus on what creates stability for you. Financial gain. Focus on Pisces. Right. Master Pisces. Be a master of yourself. Be real with yourself. And don't invest into nothing that you don't feel comfortable with. Don't make choices that will dim your light or break your confidence, okay? Because you're going to need it with Miss Marvel. You're part of something bigger. You can feel it. You know you have a calling on your life. You know you have a purpose here. Some of you may feel like whatever I'm doing is not what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. And I'm not talking about financially or where the world thinks you should be or the expectation that people got over you. I'm talking about what you truly feel inside, what, what you feel is calling you through your intuition, through your soul, through your spirit. That's the journey that you're taking these days. That's where you feel most comfortable. Some of you are losing people left and right. Maybe not to a bullet, but just to just to change. Those people are still on that same frequency. They are still there. If you drop in frequency and you go around them people, you will see that they never really left. Okay? Your vibration speeded up because you have a different mission from them okay they are here for their own purpose and you realizing yours so you were part of something bigger and life is just changing and people are falling away look king of cups and the hierophant and look how electrifying this king of cup is okay that water then turned straight into electricity okay this king of cups is very emotionally mature, very understanding, very, very powerful. When you on your life's path, when you on your mission, when you answering that call, you become more powerful and electrifying than you ever could imagine. Okay. When you start to learn and use your knowledge. Okay. And operate from a spiritual viewpoint. It creates so much magic and power in your life, Pisces. It puts you in a place where you're able to control situations around you. When you know better, you do better. When something when the calling is is when your calling is reaching out to you, you have to answer it. Okay? It's time. You know what you need to do now with this hierophant. You understand what needs to happen for you. Okay, so let it burn. Ronan the Accuser is about letting go, releasing. Hey, the fool. Starting all over for some of you. Having a new beginning, trusting in yourself, trusting in the divine, trusting in your purpose, trusting in your calling. Okay, even if the path is not clear, 
you know that you have to journey ahead. Okay? So, trusting that in order to move forward, I have to depart. And it'll be okay to let certain things go, certain people, certain situations. Okay? Letting go of expectations and outcomes. Okay? It's time to focus more on Pisces and what you got going on. You got the, some of you need, I'm hearing it. Some of you got to take time to sit with yourself, to understand yourself, to know yourself so that you can get on the right track, so that you can follow your righteous path, so that you can fulfill the deed you came here to fulfill. So sometimes a departure is a way of moving forward. We all have to depart. We all have to depart from something in order to get somewhere, okay? Strength card. You got to move mountains, okay? Any hurdles or obstacles or or anything standing in your path, you got you got to be able to break through it. Okay? You have to stand on business. You have to mean what you say. You have to say what you mean. You got to be brave enough to answer your calling and pursue your dreams or whatever it is. Okay? This, this strength card speaks of perseverance. Not letting nothing stop you. Get into your destination by any means necessary, but also enjoying the journey. Okay? Let nothing stand in your way, Pisces, because you got venom here, right? And that's a pretty big mountain you had to move, okay? So something or somebody wants to make it hard for you. Somebody else sees your light. Somebody else see you getting in alignment, making better choices for yourself. And, and they want to make you stagnant you know they want to slow you down they want to get you caught up in some type of web okay don't get caught up on the website okay don't get too caught up with social media and being online okay there's a lot of uh negative energies there too okay don't forget what you fighting for don't forget what you aiming towards don't let nothing distract you okay because this Venom character knows how to transform. Look at there, the devil. Look at there, it's the devil. Sitting on top of a tombstone. Okay? Then so, this looks like, you know, I come here and I sit at this grave site every night. And I just harness the power. I'd stolen the light. Okay? So, you know, this could be the energy of someone trying to trap you, to steal your light, to keep you stagnant, to keep you trapped in a certain setting, for you to never figure out what your calling is, for you to never pursue your dreams, for you to always have some form of, of excuse of why I can't start now, or why I can't do it now, or why I haven't done it. Right? It's just this unseen force Trying to stop you, trying to harness your energy, trying to dim your lights and use it for themselves. Okay? This could be um, someone competing against you. Okay? Definitely. Um, 15. Number six. Home and family. The devil is the number 15. One and five equals six. Home and family. Okay. Some of you may be afraid to depart from family or loved ones. Okay. The toxic people could be the closest people to you. It could be family and loved ones. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that, that did. That's, that's what, what I got. Okay. Um, gotta chase something. See, yeah, it's the Ace of Cups. It's the people you love. It's the only people who can get to you. A stranger couldn't 
break you down in no type of way. You would never let a stranger into your heart like that. You know, you're very compassionate. And you got a little empathy and all of that. But nobody can, you know, you you like a conceal don't feel when it come to strangers. You don't feel shit for strangers for real when it come to real shit. The only people who could get to you are the people that you love. And this is the universe saying that some of you may have a, not, a lot of jealousy and negative people around you that you call family. that The family that you were born into. Okay? So it's a lot of uh, people in your family, Pisces. People that you love that don't really want to see you advance or move forward here. For some reason, I only got two cards for the rest and three here. Let's clarify Miss Marvel again, okay? She came with the King of Cups and the uh, Hierophant, right? Let's see what else comes with Miss Marvel. The fourth, the uh, Six of Pentacles. Okay, so being on your righteous path, answering your callings, bring about a lot of balance to your life. Okay, you know, when they say the universe say I will supply all your needs, that's what will happen when you start answering your call and when you start moving forward towards your righteous path, you will be provided with everything you need. So there would be no need to fear departure. Okay, no need to fear departure from family, from the closest ones to you. Right? Those are the first ones. Like if it's the first 48, if something was to ever happen to you, the first person they going to is your man, your woman, your sister, your brother, your cousins, the people you work with, the people who see you every day, the people you encounter every day, the people you love. They not going to a damn stranger for you. You understand what I'm saying? So with Venom, the devil, and the Ace of Cups, it definitely lets me know that it's the people that you love. It's people you call family that don't want to see you excel, that don't want to see you advance, that don't want you doing better than them, that don't want you to be too proud, don't want your light shining too bright, don't want you to think you better, make you feel less than what you truly are. Just to hold you back. Just so you never make it. Or never figure your shit out. So with Ronan the Accuser, you had got the Fool and the Strength card, right? On Let It Burn. Depart from it, okay? This is your justice. That's how you get justice. That's how you end karmic cycles or generational curses. By taking a stand, by leading, by living in your truth, by being honest, exposing the family secrets, not being afraid to talk about it. Some people don't want to talk about it. Okay? You got the sword to cut the cord. Look at the cord. It's like the Hercules cord. You can't cut it because you a god. <laughs> you can't kill me because I'm a god. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, you got to bring justice to your own life, to your own situations. You, Your challenge, your biggest thing is to, for you, Pisces, I'm quite sure a part of your purpose, a part of your life's journey was to see if you were even able to cut off people you love. That's your biggest fight. That's your strongest power you have, but it's also your kryptonite. You know what I'm saying? So, finding that balance. Choose itself, making sure you fulfill the deed that you came here to do. And your biggest challenge will be breaking through family, breaking through love, bringing justice to the generations to come after you. Okay, so they don't have to believe that bullshit your family taught you or instilled in you or lied to you about. Because... I'm hearing your family don't like to talk about it. They don't want you to talk about it. You the only one ain't afraid to speak on it. And they try to take you out and poison your mind and, and tell you that you wrong and everything you talking about is a lie or whatever. But they want to take some scissors and cut your cord, but they can't because you're a fucking God and your cord don't get cut like that. Okay? You have the power. 
You got the power to break the generational curses. Your biggest challenge is to depart. Depart. That's your biggest challenge in this life, Pisces. To depart from the family members where you know they ain't no good for you. But you know, you love them. This family, this all I know. It's always been us. Fuck that. Fuck that. Everybody don't deserve your energy like that. So Venom, let me in, said the spider to the fly. Let me in, Pisces. Let me in to ruin you. Let me in to suck all the blood up out you, up out you. Let me in to drain your energy. Let me in to dim your light. Let me in to put all my bullshit off on you. Let me in to distract you with all this gossip and negativity. Let me in to sex you up or you know what I'm saying? Let me hook you up. You know, was this somebody I know that's going to ruin your life? Okay. So yeah, Pisces, be careful with these people that you love or the people that's family. Okay. Because everybody ain't got your best in their heart. Two of Pentacles comes with venom. Two of Pentacles. It's your responsibility to take over your joy. Okay? It's your responsibility to, to con control, balance out what you feel and which direction to go. This Two of Pentacles is about enjoying life. Okay, letting go of some of the responsibility, just being happy. Don't you think you deserve that just to be happy? Okay, you got a lot of people around you that don't want to see you come into balance. They don't want to see you become one with yourself. They don't want to see you in alignment because they know your power. Uh huh. You hear me? They know your fucking power. They see it. They just want to keep you from seeing it. And a good way to get to seeing it is just being happy and taking responsibility for yourself and saying, forget, fuck the rest, basically. Because <laughs> that's how they feel about you. Three of Wands crossing this energy, Pisces. It's time for you to move on. It's time for you to take the necessary steps to open up and find your right path in life. And sometimes that right path in life it don't consist of bringing the whole family with you or that one person or whatever. You have to open up and move forward. Okay? So, Pisces, this is the energy. I hope it resonated. Let's get a Madra. Okay? Let's see which hand sign uh, Pisces need at this time to help assist them on their soul's journey. Damn. So, what's, what's the... um? Madra for Pisces at this time. Let's get one at a time. Which Madra for Pisces at this time? Okay. This is your hand sign and it's tolerance. Be generous. Okay. You can do all this really nicely. Look at the chakra colors. Alignment. Okay. You 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 don't have to be nasty about your departure, you know. You you could still just be generous, okay? So tolerance, be generous, okay? And this is the the bud eye madra. The liquid madra helps in cases of odemia, accumulation of fluid in the body, and a burning sensation in the eyes. Kidneys and bladder uh complaints can be eased as well. In acute cases, uh, maintain the madra as long as needed. In chronic cases, uh, practice four times daily for about 10 minutes. In my, ex in my experience, when we are faint-hearted, downcast, or make uh, ex extravagant demands on ourselves or others, the result always brings suffering, trouble, strife. It's time to put an end to that. Imagine that you are near a majestic waterfall which produces wonderful rainbows. You freely uh, replenish and replenish yourself in all expectations and all of the uh, superfluous liquids in the body. What the fuck? To the waterfall. The colorful rainbow expresses all of your newfound generosity, sense of lightness, and freedom. 
The guidance here is without expectation, I'm free. Okay, without expectation, I'm free. I love that. Okay, so don't put expectations on people. Don't put expectations on people. And don't let other people put expectations on you. Okay, tolerance, be generous. Okay, so let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you have the first chakra and this is the base chakra and this one is relevant to independence. Okay, I know what my needs are and I actively pursue them knowing that I will be guided and provided for when I put in the effort. I open myself to all possibilities and I practice uh, and I participate in life fully. I use my imagination and vision to ignite what I wish for and I pursue it. I'm not waiting to be rescued. I am not a victim. I am strong. So independence is your positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.